Hello everybody and welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play and today we're going to be going into Titan Hard Mode and Titan Hard Mode is a fair bit more difficult than the normal Story Mode version because this time around Titan has bombs which are a fair bit weird to dodge but it's fairly easy. Uh, he has a smaller arena to work with, he has I think five way the lands toward the end of the fight as opposed to the three in normal mode. So overall, there's a lot more damage going out that if you don't know how to dodge it as a DPS, you're probably going to die. Because that's how you're going to die unless your healer just plain does not heal, in which case I feel sorry for you, but that's not really the fault of anybody but the one person's. But the point here is, it's a dangerous fight. Even if you are in item level 97 gear, which is what I'm at, which isn't real great, but it's not terrible. I mean, I think the, the minimum for this fight is, what, 70? Maybe 59, I don't know. It's a fair, it's a lot better than what the minimum, okay? That's that's the point I'm trying to make here. So at the beginning of the fight, we do some regular strategy things, because the guy says he's new, he doesn't know what he's doing, and I'm thankful he even asked that first off, and these people were nice enough to answer, but... Uh, I think the, the strategy they give is don't get hit by the bombs, don't get hit by the... Basically, just don't get hit by anything, which was real helpful, but... <laughs> I don't think it was meant as sarcasm, but the point here is... Yes. Now, the bombs, I'm gonna start now, before we get into the actual fight. How you dodge the bombs... There will be two or three row. I think two rows of bombs, in a circle pattern around the thing. The one that lands first, is going to explode first. The one that lands last, is the one that's going to explode last. So you want to go to the one that appeared last, and then, when the first one explodes, the, yeah, the first one explodes, then you go back to the first one, and then the second one explodes. This is a lot more difficult to dodge as a melee, because you don't want to get away from the boss. But it's possible. I screwed it up once, I remember, but it's possible to do it. And that's where learning the fight is valuable as a melee DPS, because if you don't learn the fight, things are going to get very, very bad. So besides my very terrible... <laughs> Well, at least I remember to use perfect balance this time, that's something, isn't it? But beyond my terrible rotation starting off, it's pretty standard. Titan's not really doing a whole much of anything different at this point. It's really, I think things start going sideways around the second phase, maybe third phase. I think second phase is when it goes different. Another big difference is, the, like I said, the arena is a lot smaller because he does this three times, not just twice. He does it three times this time. So as a monk, Get that Fist of Earth rolling and don't get caught in Way to the Land. That's three Way to the Land already. It's only the beginning of the fight, which is, I think, the maximum in the normal mode, so... If you guys stack up like you should, if you don't dodge it, you're gonna die. So, yes. Nothing really too out of the ordinary quite yet. The bombs are the part where you gotta start worrying, because if you eat more than one bomb, you're probably going to die. I think they do, like, 2,000 damage. They do a fair bit more damage, so... Yes, I, I don't really know what else to say here besides stop targeting me so I can actually hit my positionals, please. Holy crap, I actually managed to hit my positional when he turned around. Now that's the optimal thing. You want the weight of the earth to go after the ranged if you're a melee, so you don't have to play dance around, you know. It's, I like dancing around, I'm a monk. But okay, you see the bomb spawned on the outside first. Those are the ones going to explode first, so I made sure stay near the middle one first. Wait for the other ones to explode. That one expl I didn't get way in time. I, the, I tried. I was the timing was off, but I knew what to do there. At least I tried to make up for it by healing myself. I'm sorry, healer. <laughs> See, I'm trying to minimize damage. Rocks of Earth when big AOEs. I should have used I should have used Mantra there, but I think the other monk covered my butt there during one of these jumps and. Uh, yeah, but at least I'm using Mantra again. That's not something I should have to say every time, but I I, I am. So, yes, kill the ones in the gale, but make sure you're not going to kill somebody by hitting them right, or freeing them right into the path of Rock Slide or wherever that is. But make sure you do free them because, you know, playing one man down or one woman down is just not productive to a quick run. But make sure you kill the heart. If you don't kill the heart, it's an instant death, so focus everything you got on that, as a DPS, as anything, really. And this is the last phase, I believe. Which is, again, not really beside, not really all that different. We've already seen all the new mechanics, now it's just, oh no we haven't. 
the big last mechanic is right there. Big table flip. Look how much that did to the tank. He didn't really take all that much damage, though, but I think that's because the healer had stone skin on him like a pro. But yes, that is a tank buster. So if you're a tank, save your cooldowns for whenever that's coming up, and God help you, because I could not remember when that's coming in the rotation. I would not be a very good tank in this. <laughs> I need to look up the rotation of Titan. At this point, I'm just trying to go, I don't know where to dodge. I got it. I dodged stupidly in the right direction there. Because I wasn't really paying attention. Not a good habit. Not a good habit. But hell, I'm uh, yellow in threat, so that must mean I'm doing decent damage. Because I don't have no threat. <laughs> I don't have any threat reduction. Okay, so Titan's at 35%. Let's make sure, hopefully, we don't kill the guy in the gale here, which I think I darn near did. He got out in time. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, I was way too close for comfort. I almost killed somebody. Which is an accomplishment, killing somebody when you're not even on the opposite team. But, as you can see, Tumult hits very hard, and toward the end of the fight, he can do it up to, I think, five times. He only did it four times there, but up to five times, so that's 3,000 damage, raid-wide damage going out. So healers, you got to be on top of your game in this fight, otherwise people are going to drop, because I don't have second wind for eternity. Okay, so the middle one dropped last. Yeah, that one dropped last. So, that one exploded. Go toward the other free areas. I ate, I ate one, because I was trying to stay close enough to the boss. I got greedy. I also got greedy here, right in the middle of five of them. Boom goes dynamite. I was so embarrassed. I'm like, ah, oh, God, I was trying to be the, I was trying to be the hero, man. I was trying to end it. But in Titan, if that happens as a melee, right at the very end, it's not a huge deal. Obviously, it's not ideal either, but it's not a huge deal because he's nearly dead. But in Titan, there's a lot of instant, oh crap, he's targeting me moments. He has landslide, he has weight of the earth. I mean, it's... As long as it, as long as it doesn't happen every time, it's okay. <laughs> but, you know, as I learn the fight more and I realize when's a safe time to limit break, that's not going to happen. But for first time jitters, I also got the monk weapon. I greeted on it. I didn't even need the thing. I greeted and I won with like a 90-something <laughs> roll, so yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I doubt next time we're going to be going to Odin, but I'll be going somewhere. I'd have no idea where. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully this kept somebody from dying in Titan hard mode to the bombs or to whatever. And hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone. Until next time.